Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to Dead End Road. I've already posted two videos on this, but in both of them, I did not get the good ending. So in this one, I'm going to try and get the good ending to the game. Um, the last video I posted, I got the bad ending because I did not have the correct items. Apparently, you need to buy a candle, which I thought that by buying the lighter, I was fulfilling that role of, of a candle, but apparently you need to buy a lighter and a candle. So, we're gonna do that in this video, even though I've never seen a candle available for sale in this game so far, and I've sunk about four hours into it, according to Steam. So we'll see. All right, first things first, go into the pawn shop. Gotta get these items locked down. Should we buy the Bible? Sure. Um, let's also get, should we get the collar bell? Uh, I don't think so, I think it's too small. So we're not gonna get that. Let's go ahead and check on our sanity because that's probably, I'd say the most important stat to focus on. Fair to middling range, so we could probably get away with just buying cigarettes at the supermarket here. Um, and then just being on our way. So we still gotta get a bell and a candle. I'll just buy cigarettes. And that should shore it up. It's at fair to middling range, so just don't, don't want to be caught in the high range. Let's go ahead and leave. Don't need to repair our car because I hit like one thing. And if I have one tip for being this game, it is never buy fuel. Because the route that we're going to be taking is we're going to be going to Droughtshire or Draftshire, however you pronounce it. Then Cordier Town, Crow Road, South Hope, Everett City through the middle of the map. And if you see those gas stations, that's actually free gas. So unless you're like about to <laughs> about to run out of gas, you should not buy gas because you can just save money getting it for free. I don't know where these magical free gas stations are in real life, but uh, I'd like to know their locations. I wouldn't want to, you know, go to the free gas stations if it meant dealing with all this other crap, but, you know. What? You little rascal. I don't buy this for a second. Alright guys, so we're, uh, we're doing pretty well. The only thing I've hit so far is that trash can on the way to the first town, so we're doing fine, haven't hit anything yet, just been going through different sanity events, and, you know. Other than that, it's been pretty smooth sailing. Avoided hitting a lot of cows. So, it was a very momentous effort. Momentous cows. All right. So here we are at Draftshire, or whatever, however you are supposed to pronounce it. And we're gonna go straight to the pawn shop and see if we can get, oh sorry, antique store. <laughs> and see if we can get a uh, candle. Votive candle! This is a really nice candle. This is the first time I've ever seen a candle in this game. Not kidding. So we have the Bible and the votive candle. I think we're good. I don't know if we want matches. We'll buy them anyway, but if I get something like a fire lighter, I'm going to want to get that instead, I think, because it's more reliable. Let's go ahead and check on our sanity at the pharmacy. Just make sure we're not dangerously high levels. Worryingly high level. Um, I'm still not going to buy anything. I might get the diazepam. I don't want to get the quaaludes. The quaaludes are really expensive and you really don't want to do that when you're in dire straits. Okay, we're in acceptable range. The thing about sanity, and the reason why I would prioritize that over stuff with your car is because stuff with your car, like, you don't really have to worry about fuel if you take the correct route. You don't have to worry about damage as long as you try to, as long as you avoid things. But you can't stop sanity events from happening, you know? Uh, okay, let's go to, I believe, was it Cord Cordier Town? Yeah, here we go. Still haven't bought any fuel. We're fine. Um, there's no gas station on this road, so we'll have to wait until the next one. Ah, no! That's only the second thing I have hit all game long. I was hoping that we could make it through the entire game. 
Only hitting one thing. Oh well. Alright, turn the windshield wipers off. It was raining, I swear. Wouldn't just have them on for no reason. Alright, so here we are at Courtier Town. And we're gonna go straight to the pawn shop, see if we can get a better lighter. And we also need a bell. So there's that too. So we got the wax candle. Pre-standard candle. Um, alright. Um, I'm not gonna get the collar bell. I mean, there's gotta be a better bell that we can get. In, uh, in subsequent cities. There's gotta be. 14%, uh, fuel's pretty low. Fortunately, we have a nice and free fuel stop coming up. Alright, so next stop is Crow Road, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and there is a gas station on the way there. So we will pick up some free gas. Now, uh, the free gas stations are kind of easy to miss. There's only one. It's on the left side of the road and they're usually pretty soon after you leave, so they are kind of easy to miss. One other tip, and this is something that I didn't know in the, uh, the first two videos that I made. You can pick up those hitchhikers and take them to the next town and you'll get 15 pounds. Um, most of the time. I've heard that they can kill you though. Thanks. Anyway. Yeah, so it is a risk, but um, that is a... <gasps> Come on. There's no way to avoid that. It is a risk, but it is a better way of making money, I think, than the scratch cards. So I was wrong in previous videos when I said that scratch cards are the only way you can make money. Here, here, here. Let's do it. There he is. We got a hitchhiker, guys. Hopefully he doesn't kill us. In fact, I don't really know why I even picked him up, because we don't need the money. I guess I just like to live on the edge. So yeah, hopefully he doesn't kill us. Because we're actually doing pretty well. This is a good run so far. I'm going to be upset if it gets cut short. You doing okay back there? Okay, good. Okay, let's see. We got like a mile and a half left, so hopefully he won't just straight up murder us in that short time span. Great, we got fog. But, um, stay in the middle of the road, slowing down. Okay, no cars. We're good, 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 good. There, you can see him in the back. That's kind of creepy. But uh, always good to have extra money, I guess. And we made it, and he didn't kill us. At least not yet. Yeah, there we go. Do we get, we got 10. Oh well. As you can see, uh, this is the literal crow road. There he is. Antique store, show me what you got. I need a bell, and I need a better lighter. Cowbell. More cowbell, never a bad thing. That's a reference to a Saturday Night Live skit. And let's go ahead and get the lighter. Better than the matches, right? And we'll go ahead and leave. Uh, we'll look out for a better option later. And I'm gonna buy cigarettes before I leave. Gotta have my smokes, man. Gotta keep that in check. There we go. And we'll go ahead and leave. I'm determined to to beat this game, man. I've I've played it too much. Uh, if you guys weren't aware, I did stream it twice in the past couple weeks. So I've I've sunk probably too many hours into it. Next stop is South Hope, and there is a, another free gas station on the way there. So I think we can also go to walk, but why would we? Okay, this is a, uh, it's a six mile road. Here we go.
Nope. Fuck you. So that's what you gotta do if... If that guy appears in your back seat, you gotta turn the light off. The interior lights. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of danger here on the way to South Hope. Crap. And we got fog. Okay. I barely missed that dude. Holy crap. I don't like backpedaling guy. I think he's my least favorite one to see. There's something unnerving about him moving backwards like that. All right, I think we're in the clear. Here we are, South Hope. Oh man. Okay, pawn shop. Let me just uh, check, see if there's a better lighter. Uh, fire lighter. Yeah, good for lighting BBQs. Okay, and um, yeah, we're good. We have a we have a good book, a good bell, as far as I know, a good candle and a good lighter. So let's go ahead and check the pharmacy. At this point, um, I don't foresee myself having to repair the car, like ever again. Let's go ahead and buy the quaaludes. We're good. Just want to make sure my sanity is is fine, and then uh, I guess I'll check on the car. It doesn't really matter at this point. I plan on saving the last five pounds for cigarettes. Yeah, thirty-five percent. That is pristine at this point. When we've got uh, two towns left, or really just one, and then dead end road. Two roads left. That is. Let's check the map before we get going, just to make sure. I think the next stop is Average City. And uh, then Dead End Road. And as you can see, you used to be able to take North Hollows, Walk, Holrich, Dead End Road. But um, that road between Holrich and Dead End Road has been removed by the developer. So that you have to take a slightly longer path. Which is honestly fine with me. I think that um, it's more fun having to drive around a little bit more. I think it was a good idea on their part. Because that's the route that everyone was just taking. They were just like, uh... They were just like, oh, I'll just, I'll take the shortest possible route there. Okay, there we go. Just spent all my money on soda and cigarettes. I only had six pounds, but whatever. And we're ready to go to Dead End Road. I think I have everything I need. But I guess we'll find out. Watch them be like, cowbell. That, uh, that's a poor item selection. All right, here we go. So we can go to Dead End Road or we can go to White Town. Oh, sorry, Knight's Hill. White Town is another one. Here we go. Eight miles of dead-end road. And uh, I think we'll be good. Our sanity should be fine. And our car is in great condition. I haven't had to repair it once because I've only hit three different things, I believe. Maybe four. Um, so things are good. And you can see by the meter on the car how well it's doing. As long as we don't hit any telephone poles, we should be okay. Or any, like cars coming towards us head-on because those are basically instant deaths what turn it off turn the radio off I don't want to hear that shit oh he's he's playing his little song for me again give me a friggin break all right we got this And uh, we're a little low on fuel, actually. I didn't really notice that. But uh, we should be fine. 
I can't foresee us running out in the next four miles. Like, I don't think we're that low. I did kind of forget to get gas on the way to Average City, which I totally should have. For some reason, I just didn't. I guess I got kind of cocky. It's okay, though. Three miles left. We haven't run into anything, like... Give up? Why? I'm- I'm rocking it. I'm doing awesome. We haven't seen anything on the road in a long time, though. Kinda curious if it's gonna all hit us at once. Nope. Some people have said that that thing that I almost hit the guy is like a spirit? Posing as a human? Kinda creepy. Roadkill, avoid that. Thanks. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Oh my god. I really hope that we have the right items. There we go. Dead end road. Next exit. Here we are. Home stretch. As long as we don't hit a car, head on at full speed, or run to a telephone pole, we're golden. We can barrel through anything else. Yes. Yes. Oh, we did it. Okay. Great. Does it matter? Okay, it doesn't matter which which way we turn. Here we go! Please tell me I did good, Grandma. So you have returned to me. I am surprised. Very few make it this far. You poor naive fool. Many years ago, I too performed the ritual. But I was lucky. I was able to bargain for my soul. Same speech she gives at the beginning of the bad ending. On condition that I continue the curse and lure more unsuspecting lambs. You're kind of a dick, Grandma. Into the waiting arms of my master. Judge me not, child. You would have done the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. But enough talk. Yes, please tell me my items are good. Did you bring the required items? Show me what you have. I see. Come on. Why, what does that mean? An excellent selection you have here! Indeed, it seems you may still have a chance. Go now and complete the ritual. There is still a chance to save yourself. To save yourself from my master. Okay. What? Oh, I did it! Oh, I did it! What was the di I had no idea that we were gonna have to do that again with a time limit. This is the end of the road. Your suffering is finally over. You reflect back on the night's events. Your body aching from exhaustion. Will things ever be the same again? Dew on the ground glistens in the light. You begin to feel more like yourself again. You think upon your original wish for world peace. It remembered. War has been eliminated. All violence rendered impossible for humanity. That is freaking cool. It recognized my wish and it gave me a specific scenario in which it comes true. That is so cool. Humanity prospers in peace and harmony for centuries to come, eventually forgetting what it means to fight. That is, until the year 4055 when aliens invade Earth, humanity is defenseless against the attack. Perfect. <laughs> Those not killed outright in the invasion are quickly enslaved and put to work in the alien salt mines? This is how your journey ends? What? You found a secret ending? I did? Secret ending number one unlocked. What? Secret endings found one of eight. There are secret endings? Oh, that's awesome. 
I'm not gonna find out what the other seven are, but cool. All right, guys, well, um, I think that concludes my experience with Dead End Road. If you wanna buy this game, it just released today, I believe, um, on Steam for $3. I think it's a really good deal for the money, personally, and I think this developer should be supported. So, you know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but just my two cents on the on the thing. Uh, there's a reason I made three videos on it. But yeah, um, cool original concept, nice uh, execution. I wish that there was more to the towns. Like, I wish there was more to do besides just like go straight to the pawn shop and then like heal yourself, basically. Like, people to talk to, like have creepy conversations with, that kind of thing. You know, just, I mean, something similar to the dark alley like, you know, Main Street or something. You just go and you could talk to somebody and have a creepy conversation with them that doesn't really do anything but kind of adds to the lore and the world building going on. That might be kind of cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, I enjoyed it so far. Um, so far. Overall is what I meant. Brain fart. Um, and I recommend it. So let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it. I will see you guys in the next one. Think critically.